Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. <clears throat> I'm now going to be going through question number four from the October 2018 Statistics S1 paper. This is an international A-level paper. And this question here is on probability and Venn diagrams. It says, pieces of wood cladding are produced by a timber merchant. There are three types of fault, A, B, and C, that can appear in each piece of wood cladding. The Venn diagram shows the probabilities of a piece of wood cladding having the various types of fault. So the ones in this circle have type A fault and the ones in this circle have type B fault and the ones in this circle have type C fault and the ones outside the three circles don't have any of those three types of fault. So it says a piece of wooding is chosen at random, a piece of wood, sorry, cladding is chosen at random. Find the probability that the piece of wood cladding has more than one type of fault. Okay, so more than one type of fault would mean basically two, two types of fault or all three types of fault, more than one type of fault. So it wouldn't include any of these out here. So we have all, all of those values already, so we have to just add them together. So it's going to be basically 0 0.05 plus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.03 and then... The one in the middle there, 0 0.01. So you have 5 plus 4, which is 9 um, plus um, 10. That's, it's going to be 0 0.13. 0 0.13. 0 0.04, that would be 0 0.09, 0 .0 0.10, 0 0.13. 0 .0 if you want to just make sure that we're correct, we can just add them together. 0 0.04 plus 0 0.03 plus um, I forgot the 0 0.05 and then plus the 0 0.01 and that gives us 13 over 100 of course which is the 0 0.13 so there's the answer to part a pretty simple then it says fault types a and c occur independently okay very important word here very very important word here independently so a and c are independent of each other find the probability that the piece of wood cladding has no faults so basically, when we know when we when we know that two pieces uh, or two two events are independent of each other, okay. So if A and C are independent, and this is only true if they are independent, okay, then we can say for sure that the probability of the intersection of A and C is the same as the probability of all of A times the probability of all of C. Okay, we know that's for, for sure true in this case because they are independent. They told us that in the question. So the intersection between A and C, okay, between these two is 0 0.04 and 0 0.01. Okay, this is the intersection between A and C, 0 0.04 and 0 0.01. All right, so that's going to be 0 0.05. So we can say the probability, the, the, the intersection between A and C is 0 0.05. And that's equal to the probability of A, which is basically all of these added together. Okay, all of these added together. Whoops. All right, let me just... Uh, so all of these added together. Okay. That's the probability of A is all of the circle A, which is basically 0 0.1 plus 0 0.05. So if you add these together, you're going to get 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Okay, just to make sure you have 0 0.1. 0 0.1 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.01 plus um, 0 0.04. Okay, these the ones that are inside A, that gives you one fifth, which is 0 0.2. Okay, so the probability of A is 0 0.2. So this is, we know, 0 0.2. And that will give us the probability of C. Okay, so we can find out what the probability of C is because what we have to do is. Um, it has no faults so i've got to find what this is here okay so we're going to help so we're using the fact that they're independent to help us find an, an p basically right if, if you want to find what p is all right then we're going to be able to find what q is which is a probability that has no faults okay so here we can find what the probability of c is so we can say the probability of c is equal to 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.2 so we're going to have uh, 0 0.05 divided by that last answer, which gives us one quarter, which is 0 0.25. Okay, so we know that the probability of C equals 0 
So therefore, we need to find the probability, we only need to find what Q is. Now Q is equal to the probability of A union B union C, union B union C complement, the probability of all of that, okay, which is 1 minus the probability of A union B union C, okay. So we've got to find this um, A union B union C, which is equal to 1 minus I'll, I'll put it's one minus the probability of this sorry okay one minus probability of that so it's one minus now the probability of um, a union b union c so you're going to have basically uh, all of these added together so i can say that this whole thing is 0 0.25 so we can say that's um we've got 0 0.25 for c so now i need to add the parts of B and A which are not already counted in C. We've already counted these, so I'm going to add these three together. Already these are counted the 0.25, so I have 0 .0, 0, 0 0.1 and 0 0.05 and 0 0.08. So it's going to be 0 0.05, uh, 0 0.08 and 0 0.1. And 0 0.1. So that's going to give me my answer. I'll just put that all in my calculating and go. That will give me what Q is which is our answer to this question. So we're going to have 0. Point, we'll have 1 minus the answer plus inside the bracket 0. 0.05 plus 0. 0.08 plus 0. 0.1 and that gives us 13 over 25 which is 0. 0.52. 0. 0.52 and there's the answer that's the problem that's what Q is basically. Q is the inter is basically what's outside of all three of them. Okay, so there's the answer for Q. And um, yeah, so I'm going to write down what P is as well, by the way, just, just to make it um, something clear so we know. So we know that Q is 0 0.52 and P is just to, just to, in case we need to use it in the future, we'll have 0 0.25 minus, that's going to be 0 0.08, isn't it? 0 0.08 plus 0 0.1. Which gives us 0 0.17 so this is 0 0.17 so we know this is 0 0.17 we know this is 0 0.52 okay so we've filled in the whole table and then it says given that the piece of wood cladding has fault a find the probability that it also has fault b but not fault c okay what i'm going to do here is just take this okay so now when it says given that given that very very important given that okay the piece of wood cladding has fault a that means we're only going to be considering those items in the set a we're not going to consider anything else that's our solution set now that's what we have to concentrate on just whatever's in set a nothing else now will count only set a that becomes like you know our sample set basically right so the probability will be only taken from this set okay so find the probability that it also has fault b but not fault c okay so if we look here let me just change the color a bit if we look here and see which out of these in set a has fault b but not fault c well it's outside of fault c it's inside fault b it's going to be this that's the only part which is within set a which is our sample set which has uh, fault b but not fault c okay so basically, what we're what we're basically finding here, it's not written in, in these words, but we're we're given that it's in set A, so that's slash A, and we're finding the probability that it has it's it's basically um inside B intersection with outside of C. Okay, so it's only the part of A that we're looking for that has that, right? So we don't even have to write this down, but basically we're looking at what's in B but outside of C. But it must be in set A. So we don't take this part here. We don't take this part here because that's not in set A. We give, it's given A. So we have to only concentrate what's in A. So we don't have to even worry about writing that down. I'm just showing you what the notation is for that. So all we have to do, this is going to be 0 0.05. Not over the whole thing that now. It's not over the whole thing. Okay, the whole thing would be 1. Okay, but it's over whatever set A is. Now the probability of A we wrote down earlier is, did we write it down? Probability of A, did we write it down somewhere? 
Yes, 0 0.2. Okay, the probability of A is 0 0.2 is the sum of all these 0 0.05 plus 0 0.0. Um, these, these three add up to 0 0.1 plus 0 0.0.2. 0 .0 so it's going to be 0 0.05 over 0 0.2. Okay, so 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.2, which gives you one quarter, which is 0. Point, put a bit neater. Um, 0 0.25 and there's the answer for this question okay there's the answer for this question and that concludes this question I think no it doesn't all right hold on a second okay so it, con it doesn't conclude the section uh, this question sorry it's saying here part d I was almost going to finish there but part d says two pieces of the wood cladding are selected at random find the probability that they both have exactly two types of fault okay let me just get the diagram okay so find the probability that they have they both have exactly two types of fault okay so now so exactly two types of fault means no more no less okay so we can see that it's, it's basically this this and that those are the ones that have exactly two types of fault and the probability of that the probability of exactly two faults okay is equal to 0 0.05 plus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.03 that's 0 0.09 plus 0 .00, 0 0.12 okay so 0 0.12 so there's two of them being selected at random so the probability of the first one is going to be um you know um having two exactly two types of fault is 0 0.12 and then the second one also 0 0.12 Okay, so that's going to give me 0 0.12 times 0 0.12 or 0 0.12 squared, which gives us 9 over 625, so 0.0144. So the answer here is 0 0.0144. Okay, so there's the answer to this last part of the question. Now, some people will say, to say, hold on a second, you know, you pick one and then there's one less and then you pick another and you know so but here we don't have the numbers these these don't represent the numbers of items this represents the probability of those events occurring it doesn't rep represent the number of items okay so that's something that we have to be uh, careful about if you had a venn diagram which had the numbers of people okay in these groups and then you say okay you pick one from that group and there's one less in that group now and that's when you can deal with you know you you change the number of the denominator and the number of the numerator if you've taken from that same group but this is just the pure probabilities we have here so we cannot do that there in this case so we just do the probability of the first one being picked having exactly two types of 40, 0 0.12 times the probability of the second one also the same probability 0 0.12 and that gives you your answer there so that answers question number four part d and concludes this question from the october 2018 statistics s1 international a level paper other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region here other questions from uh, the topic of probability and uh, venn diagrams from s1 can be found in the in the playlist that will appear over here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and the video here will take you to um it will show you how to use my channel uh, to be able to find what you need more efficiently thank you for watching and see you soon